everyone, Cheryl here this morning um, with Cadoodle Bug Designs. And today I'm gonna just be sharing this sweet tree cookie Clyde. Isn't he darling? I just love him. I think he's super cute. And so I'm just gonna show um, using some of the products I used and putting him together. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna push him to the side. Um, so on the gingerbreads, I'm using um, the Distressed Ink tea dye. Um, you can pick whichever works best for you or what you like, and then I'm using a dauber. And so I mostly prepped um, most of the little pieces to kind of help um, keep this short. And so I'm just darkening um, the edges and then coming in a little bit with some shadow on the inside. I'm using the same tool and just kind of brushing down. Um, you can use whatever if you want to use like a brush and do circular and keep it flat. You can do however. And so while it looks super dark um, right here, it's not when it's put together. So it, it turns out really nice. And so I've got all my pieces um, separated and these are all ready now to go. Oops, let's do his little leg a little darker. Okay, so I've got those ready. Um, so on the little hat, um, I did cut out in a design paper. It's a little, um, polka dot on blue. It's a blue on blue. And the nice thing about this one was you can flip it over and have the blue um, for the rim of his hat. Um, so the bottom part. And I'm using just the bashful blue. Again, um, you'll match your inks, um, of course, to whatever papers you choose. And then um, same thing. I just kind of brush down with that and we don't even really need to do the bottom there because that won't be seen now when you come into these little um areas and if you can't get in there with um your dauber then you could always come in with a, a brush or a q-tip or something like that and so i'm going to try this little brush here and i'm just bringing it in now i could use this other one this one's a little cheaper and a little stiffer um we just want to get a little bit of color into that little area again you can use whatever works best for you um i'm just trying to get a little bit of color on there and so there we have that. So his little hat's ready. So um, now for the tree, um, the tree I cut out in this really pretty kind of bluish green. And um, the cool Caribbean goes nicely with that. So I'm gonna just ink this brush up a little bit. Hopefully that'll be enough. And I'm just gonna kinda brush. Again, you can do circular to get up into the area or just kind of push up and, you know, how whatever helps you to, whoops, and I just went into the wrong blue. Let me keep this one open. Sometimes I don't get enough. I forget the brushes. Um, I tend to have to ink a little more. So I'm just kind of doing a straight stroke up on those um, and then I could just want to get the edge and hopefully you could see that. So we got that done and then we'll work on the bottom. Again, if you find that the brush is, is putting um, more than you'd like, you can come in with, um, you know, maybe a smaller brush. I think it's fine for this. 
I think it looks, you know, nice. It turned out nice. So our tree is done and ready to layer. So the tree we can layer, um, and I like to get all the little things on this tree so I can set it aside because I did add um, some little uh, dew drops to it, the robin's nest dew drops. I thought they would look really pretty on there. And so there's that. And so now we can pull the little gumdrops so these, what I ended up doing, they are quite small. I didn't ink up any of the, the really small ones, but this one um, I did. I used just a Copic pin RV11, and basically I used the pin on the edges of each one. And this is probably the only step I didn't do you know, all of them, except for one. I just thought, oh, it'll just take a minute, but. It's funny when we do the videos, you think, oh, this one will be shorter and it ends up being longer. So hopefully this one is a little bit shorter. Then I'm just taking the zero um, colorless blender and to soften up the outline I'm just using that on there, so and just really simple. So now I'll just place some glue in some random spots, and that way I can put those on there. So now I've had a lot of questions about this tool. Let me grab, I should already have that out. So I did buy this off of Amazon. Um, if you're wanting a link, I could always go in and get it, or maybe I'll just stick it in the, the thing. I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that. I'm not into that, but I know a lot of people, I've had messages, and this is called Vikerer, and it's a little kit, and it comes with two, two of these little tools. Now, they are people that do nails use these, but I thought... I'm going to try them because they have the little wax edge and I thought they'll be perfect for picking up, especially the, these dew drops. Um, that's really what I had bought them for. Um, and they work well with that too. And so I thought, Oh, I bet it'll pick up the little papers and that'll make life so much easier. But you do get four little, um, or you get three or two replacements because you're going to use one on each one. So you will get four tips. And so, and if you notice, see how it's down, but I've been using this for a long time. So um, this is again, Viker, it's on Amazon and I want to say it's $8.99. And so good price, you get two tools. And again, and I use mine like every day. So we're just gonna place these. So I hope that helps for those that are interested in trying a different tool. Um, you know, some of the little craft tools, they don't last very long and they are quite costly. So to help with that, it's nice to find something that isn't. So now we have the little pink guys and I think I'm just gonna put one there one there and maybe one here so on these little pink ones I cut them out in a shimmer paper and um, I'm not inking the edges on these I just figured oh they've got a little shine to them hopefully I got them the right way huh <laughs> you never know these little guys are so fun to put together You can do them in any color, but I thought how cute the blue, you know, would be. Okay, so we've got the pink on there, and now I'm just going to add the white. So we'll do one there, one there, maybe one here, and possibly there. So I've got the white, and this one won't matter which, which way. Now you could always come in on these white. I did not on my 
this original one. You could add some stickles to it, um, you know, or um, the liquid pearl, um, you know, just to give a different effect uh, and look to your um, little bits on the tree. And so now I'm going to use um, the dew drops. And oh, I should have grabbed. Let's see. I want the small ones and I want the light ones. And because I've used a ton of my light ones, I may end up just grabbing the darker ones. Let's see if those, oh yeah, those are really pink. Oh, and I don't know if I have, oh wait, there's one. I guess I should have pulled those out first, huh? Oh, there they are. I think those are them. There's one. So we'll have two, I need two, four, I need five of those. Uh, let's grab that one. There's three. Oh no. Yeah, I, I've used up over time all my light pink. I really didn't want it to stand out. Okay. Oh boy, wow. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's gonna be my last. Well, oh, I need one more. Ah! Oh, that's funny, let's see. Well, those are bigger. I don't really want the bigger ones. Well, what am I gonna do? Uh, let's just go Oh, that's going to be so odd, not having them all matching. Um, I wonder if there's a really tiny. It may just be because I can't see. Wow. That's a really tiny one. That's going to just look so odd. What about that one? See, that looks pink on there. You can't use that. I don't know. Okay, I guess I'm going to go with maybe four only. I'll set that aside for now. So, and that's going to look so odd. Let's go. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Where I cut out some time for the other thing, I've added in time for this. So, we're going to go one there, maybe one there one there and see how that oh his foot will cover that one so we don't need that one maybe I don't know we'll see let's just get what we've got so one there one there and one there go I'm there but that looks funny uh, there we go oh, maybe okay and I wonder if I should stick this little guy uh, maybe there He's a tiny one. Oh well, okay, that's gonna have to do. And I'm gonna have to pour these in a glass dish because I'm gonna need this and I, okay. Let's just move this out of the way for now. Okay. So the tree is pretty close to being done. So I'm not going to add that on to this yet because we have the ice or the like snow is up here. The icing on the cookie actually. So we'll add that on after. So the first piece we want to add to this would be the bottom um, icing to the bottom. And so I'll just glue that and so I can see I gotta lift it okay 
So there's that. Okay, so the next step is going to be we want um, his body on next. And so we're just going to add that right there. Okay. And now we can add our little tree. Oops. The trees are so cute. You could even cut out just a bunch of the little trees um, to use. So you just kind of want to get that <clears throat> in place. And then we want to add his little buttons um, so we don't forget. <clears throat> now this is definitely two-sided so oh and it does not want to pick it up off my hand isn't that funny okay so one there and then the one there I want to slide it under so I'm just going to use uh, the pin and hopefully that did not I'm going to slide that tab under. And you can just place it however you think is good. Okay, so we've got <coughs> the buttons, our tree, the icing. Now we want to do, um, let's get one of his arms on. Again, we're only using the one. And he may get covered up. Yeah, that little button maybe may get covered up. That's okay. All right. And then we can go ahead and get one of his... His legs, well, he only has one, but we'll put his leg on. Oh, we could have added that little dot to right there. I may have to add, I thought maybe his foot would, unless I bring his foot up some more. Oh, there we go. That may help. There we go. Cover that up a little bit. Unless I bring something else, maybe another little dot in would be okay. Okay, so now we want to do, we've got um, the arm on. And so now we can go ahead and add his face. And so for his face, before I put that on, um, I'm going to use some chalk. And I'm using um, the, the brighter pink. Could use kind of both mixed if you'd like um, and then I'm just gonna do the cheek part so you figure you could go there and go there and then I just blow that off um, the good thing about the chalk is you can erase um, some of it you know so if you get too much or you know, whatever. It may look like a lot, but it looks nice once put together. So I'm not going to worry about that. Probably could have put his little hand on, but this is the way I've done it. So I'm going to kind of go like so. Okay. Of course, now I'll get this little hand on. So it'll should slide under. There we go. Okay. And then we want to get the icing. And we haven't put the other hand on, but I'm going to do the icing on this one. Let's slide that under. It's cute. 
cute. Okay, so now I'm going to just add this hand. Put a little bit on the back of that. So the good thing about this is we can kind of move it around and figure out, oh, where do we want it? And I did cover up in this one, the other blue. On this one, you could see it a little bit, but that's okay. Um, you could always try to add those, I guess, after you put the, tr well, I did do that, but oh, well, it doesn't matter. Whoops. I guess you could always put them and then not glue them until you see. Oh. So there's that. <clears throat> Just want a little bit right here for <clears throat> the icing on him. Okay, this little tool helps get some of the glue up too. Okay, so we've got all that. So now we can go and put his hat on. And so I'm just gonna glue up, you know, add some glue to the back. And of course, I'm gonna have to lift this so I can see what I'm doing. So you'll have a little piece showing right here of the brown. That's okay because um, when you put this piece on, the icing on his hat, um, it'll that's where it goes. So it kind of helps guide you. So we want to get that on his little hat because then the last thing will be... And you could always add the glue to um, the back of this, but okay, I think that's probably good enough. Yep, and then he's going to get his little nose. So let's put the, the glue on the back of that. I gotta look at him because let's see. I oh, know yeah, it's so cute. He's super cute. Okay. <clears throat> and then the last thing is um this icing for the tree. We want to get that on. Okay. So <clears throat> the icing for the or the icing for the what I'm going to use on here is I'm just going to add the glue onto here. And then I am using a glitter. It's the Dazzling Diamonds. And um, I'm just able to kind of dip that one in. And so give it a little bit of glitz. And then the same thing down at the bottom. Now, if you don't have um, the Dazzling Diamonds, you can use any... Um, glitter that you choose or you can even come in with the stickles or um, fun flock um, you know there's so many options out there I think there's even pins I used to have years ago the pins that actually make like snow or icing and so you could um, do that but I'm going to use the same thing the dazzling diamonds on the bottom to give it just some little bit of glitz. Okay. And then now I kind of wanted to do something different. So for his, the icing on um, the gingerbread, I went ahead and pulled some of the fun flock. And so I'm going to use that on here. And I did it on all the, the pieces for the icing on the little gingerbread. Um, again, it's a preference to whatever you choose. Um, it's just nice to use some of our other supplies. And I have so many 
different things that I was like, yeah, I need to get some of this used up. Get press that down a little bit. And then just pat that off. And it gives a nice texture. So I'm going to push that aside. And now I can come in. We're almost done. I'm going to come in with... Um, <clears throat> <coughs> the white highlights and then just do the dot and the little line on his nose and I like to do three dots on the cheeks and then you could do a line here one there some little dots coming up his back uh, maybe on his leg here whoops one little guy on his foot <laughs> And we'll do one up here. Now on his hat, I just kind of did, um, you could go dot, 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 and then line dot, line dot. And hopefully you could see that. It's a little line and then dot. There we go. And that's it, I think. And, you know, again, you can use like whatever you choose but i thought it'd be fun to use some of the um fun flock and some of the um glitters i know a lot of us have a ton of glitters so it's a good way to to incorporate them into your um piece you know your svg pieces so i hope you enjoyed my video today and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos please do follow and i want to thank you for stopping by and have a great day Bye bye